All right, guys, we're out here uh, doing some old mechanic work. Uh, all right, today we're working on a Kia Forte right here. So we're gonna work on this, get the brakes changed, get the oil changed, and we'll be good to go. So let's get under the car and get started. All right, guys, so with the videos in the past, I've kind of gone over all the steps. So today I'm gonna go over the steps for the front brakes for this car. I'm just going to go time-lapse through the other side, but if you guys want to see both sides, let me know. Um, or if you like what I'm doing with the time-lapse on the second one, I'll let me know as well. But we're going to get started on here, and the first thing we got to do is get these lug nuts off. Whatever that's called. We got the wheel off. There we go. Let's take a look at these brakes. Uh, first thing we can see... Actually, I didn't think we were going to see this at all. Let me get you a good view. So you see these spots right here? Let's see if I can get some more. See these spots that are showing up? Down here. Those are hot spots. So those are spots where the rotor got too hot, overheated. Um, those are not for my finger. <laughs> but I don't know how well you can see that, but... That is that, and the brake pads are pretty worn down in there, you can see. So we're going to get these swapped out and be braking like new. Alright, so now I'm going to get to these screws right here. So the first thing I'm going to try and get off, and these just came off real easy. So get that one. See if we can get this one off. That one's not coming out easy, so I have this uh, tool right here. What we're going to do is... We're gonna get it set up so that way when I hit this it's gonna loosen it up so let's do that right now all right I don't know if you guys saw that or not but it did get it loose got scared that I almost stripped it out but here it is. Screws out. Alright, now that I got those screws off, I did turn the steering wheel all the way to the right so I can have easier access to these bolts back here. So what we're going to be loosening up is we have this bolt up here on the, the calipers. So there's one and there's two. One and two. And then there's two bolts back here. There's one. And there's the other one right down there. This one with my fingers on. And that's going to loosen this whole caliper off. So we're going to get all those loosened up. Loosened up. Um, I have my impact that I'm going to use to get all those done real quick. So let's get to it. All right. So let's get these bolts loosened up. I believe they're 14 mils. So that one's off. That one's loose as well. Let's loosen that up the rest of the way. There's one. There's two. The caliper off. Hang that out the way. Pull these little tabs. And pull the brake pads. That is very thin, so a good thing we're changing these out. There's the other one. Now let's get these two poles loosened up. Beans, and I guessed right. it off. Now let's just pull off this rotor and there we go. Alright, and you can look right here, all of the stuff's off. Uh, we'll get this cleaned up and get the new rotor back on. So now, just like all my other videos, uh, we're just going to get this rotor cleaned up. So we're going to open this box up, pop it open, got our new rotor, flip that 
clean and a paper towel. Wipe it all off because there's a lot of oil on this. So you want to make sure you get all those oils off. Get the other side. Same thing. Alright, now it's all cleaned up. Let's get it on the car. I want to line up holes for the screws up so that way it all holds in one place. Now we can take our screws and our screwdriver. And there's that. There's the bottom one. Hit it with all my little spray and brake clean. And that's all good to go. We just need to get our caliper ready. caliper bracket. This is one of the most important parts in my opinion of getting this all set up right. And that's because if this isn't clean or these pins don't move freely, uh, your brakes can end up seizing up and not working. So we want to get all that cleaned up. So first we're going to take these tabs off, just like that. And then I like to get some brake clean. Best friend. Spray it down. that paper towel. We're going to pop these little tabs out. And these are dirty. I don't think they've been cleaned ever since this car was new. So we're going to wipe those off. I'm going to get my new uh, silicone paste right here. This stuff's great. Honestly, I highly recommend this. It's like 15 bucks. So, if you ever do brakes a lot, stuff. So pop that back in. Make sure it's moving freely. Do the same thing with the other one. And it's black. It's just from brake dust getting inside there and getting all in the way. So we're going to make sure these are nice and clean. Even though my hands are not. But we're about that as clean as we can. Get our paste. and pop these babies in just like that so there we go there it is. take these and just pop them into place just like that and what you can even do what I'm gonna do brake pads and put them in as well. Alright, so I'm going to get the caliper back into the car. Uh, first thing I want to do. I'm just getting these bolts started back here. I'm just going to zip them down real quick with my impact. So I'll do it super tight. Now I'm going to get the other brake pad in. Alright guys, so all the trick I do when I compress the uh, caliper is I just get one bolt and up top. I actually get it in so it smack me in the face like it does sometimes. I'm just going to lean it up like this. And now we can watch that compress. Let's grab the old brake pad. Brake pad, compressor tool.
just like this. So let's get that compressed. All right, so it's all compressed now. We'll just loosen that up. And we'll close this caliper down. We'll get you a view of that. Close down the caliper. Just lines up like that. So I'm gonna get thread locker on my bolts again. Just a little bit. I'm gonna pull this one out and put thread locker on because I didn't do it the first time. these in. Grab my 14 millimeter socket. Alright, just tighten this down. These ones just need to get slinged up are around 15 to 20 foot pounds uh, if you have a torque wrench which I do, and I'm going to use for these other two big bolts back here. So, I'm going to grab my torque wrench and we get that torqued down. All right, now these get torqued down to uh, 80 foot-pounds is what I have mine set at. So just going to the top one. And then on the bottom one, there we go. The side's all done. Now let's get to the other side. I'll fast forward through that one and then we'll be all done with the brakes on this car. car so that's another job well done um, so if you enjoyed this video again please leave, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these kind of videos but I will see you next time um, going out with Daring Motors Mobile Mechanics